Greetings, people of the internet. This is Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. It's Friday. You know what that means. It's time for Fan Art Friday. If you watched us last week, you know we started doing some characters from Batman's Rogues Gallery. And Batman pretty much has the coolest villains there are. We did three characters last time. I believe we did the Joker, Mr. Freeze, and Catwoman. So there's still a bunch of really cool ones. So we are going to do three more, including my favorite character. What's your favorite Batman villain? I'd like to know. Leave it in the comments section. And uh, so these are the ones we're going to do today. Here's a quick preview. One of these is my favorite character. Can you guess which one? We'll talk about it. Let's get to it. All right, so who is my favorite Batman villain? Well, if you guess the guy who dresses in the same color green as my lab coat, then you guess right. Yes, the Riddler is uh, my favorite. I've always kind of gravitated to that character. I don't know. I mean, the Joker is very cool, too. I love the Joker. But for me, I don't know what it, what it is about the Riddler. Um, uh, like most people my age, uh, my first exposure to Batman, um, even before the comics, was uh, the 66 Batman show. And not that I was around it in 66, but it was, you know, they were playing it in reruns and everything, and that was before the animated series. Of course, Super Friends was out too, so there were Super Friends, and, and, uh, but no an Batman animated series or the Burton Batman or anything like that, so... Um, but I did, I did like Frank Gorshin's uh, Riddler in the, you know, in the Adam West and Burt Ward series. But, um, but he always seemed, you know, a little too out there, like crazy, like the laugh. I, did, I love that laugh, but um, it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't until, you know, the animated series kind of came around until I really thought they, they did the Riddler correct, where, you know, he wasn't, you know, just another Joker, which really you know that's kind of when they did when they did the uh well, i guess it wasn't burton burton at that time but uh what was it batman forever yeah, i just did not like that portrayal of the jim curry's riddler where he's just off the wall jokey you know kind of crazy you know more like the joker you know but i like the idea of the riddler being very you know calm and um calculating and you know he likes to make puzzles and and things like that and he's you know, sort of an intellectual, I guess. So um, I like that version a lot better. So this is sort of the closest thing, I guess. I, I come. Up, it's, it's similar to, it's similar to the Riddler in the animated series. I don't remember if he wore the mask in the animated series or not. I know he wore the bolo hat and uh, kind of the suit. I like the suit and tie. Um, as opposed to, I don't mind if it has like the question marks all over it. That's kind of cool, but I like the tie rather than, than than like the unitard because again, it just seems like it would fit the character that I think you know the Riddler should be like. So, um, but uh, yeah, the the anime series was or not the animes, but the it's really I don't think the, other than the anime series, yeah, they really I don't think anyone's really done the Riddler. I was I was really hoping that. Um, that um, uh, why is the name escaping me? Um, oh man, I'm going nuts here. I can't. I can't. Um, <laughs> I just man. If we were playing trivia, I would be kicking myself because I can't remember who's who's the one that directs Batman Begins. Um, I can't remember his name for some reason. Anyway. Um, it'll come to me, but um, I really wish that he would have um, he he would have done uh, the Riddler. You know, of course he did do Two Face, which was cool. And this my version of Two Face is is uh, a little bit um, some some from the comics, some from the uh, the animated series again I think in the animated series and you'll see when I start coloring I think animated series the skin was sort of blue which I sort of liked and I was gonna do a skin like the the half of his face you know that's that's um, deformed or whatever um, or burnt or whatever with from acid or whatever <laughs> um, I've seen it in like different colors some people do it green some people do it blue some will do it kind of a pink um, I think it was pink in the in the Again, the the Burton, um, or I keep saying Burton, but because uh, it kind of started from that. But um, the Tommy Lee Jones one, um, just sort of that bright pink. But 
I don't know, I, I kind of went with that color, as you'll see as I start coloring it in, but um, I don't know. I like the idea of this larger, you know, obviously the eye is just, you know, eyeballs are quite a bit bigger than what you would, what you normally see just in your, you know, through your eyelids, but probably not that big. So a little exaggerated, um, but I like to do that because it's comics and, you know, I like the exaggeration, so. But Two-Face, also a very cool character. Um, I like that kind of juxtaposition of the, the person that, you know, is the lawyer who's who's all for the law, law and, and then the person that's just totally lawless, so. Um, Man, Batman really does really have the the best villains, so that's why it's fun to do these things. So I could, I mean, I could keep going. I mean, there's so many, and even minor things like minor characters, like characters that you wouldn't think would be cool. I always love it when they take a character that's sort of like a lame character, you know, really not that great, but then they 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 turn it into something. They kind of the, and the animated series did that so well, and um, and I wasn't a huge fan of like the Batman movies, the Burton movies, and the Schumacher movies that came after that. Um, one, because the, the original Batman, it just seemed it was more about the Joker, and I I like Batman. I want, I wanted the story about, you know, of course you want, you want Joker to play prominently in it, but I didn't want him to be, I, I wanted a little more Batman, and I guess you didn't really get that, but, you know, that's, I guess that's my opinion, but... Um, but yeah, the animated series just, it, I remember thinking, why is it that the, the animated show that's for kids is so much better than the movies? And I don't know, it just, it, it is, and it's just still, it still holds up, and it's still just a brilliant series, but the way they took characters and added so much to them, I mean, um, that's where, like, Harley Quinn came from, was the, the animated series. I mean, she was developed for the animated series, and, um, so now I'm doing Poison Ivy. I'm kind of switching all over the place, but, I mean, she was done, she was handled really well in the animated series. It's like all the best versions, um, the comics notwithstanding, I'm sure there's the comics, you know, but as far as, you know, uh, like media like television film and things like that the anime series just did such a good job even taking you know adding that that we talked about this last time by adding that origin of uh what really made mr freeze gave him a story and gave him gave him something to be interesting other than a guy that just wanted to freeze everything um and then they would take characters that really weren't all that great like you know uh, Clock King and the way they did Clock King is really cool. I might have to do him, although visually not probably not as interesting as some of these these other ones. But the the guy that was so ruled by time and you know just almost like an obsession and um, just really cool. They they really knew what they were doing. So I'm a big fan of the anime series and I really need to rewatch it because it's just so good. It, I, I assume most of you people that are watching this, if you're Batman fans, you've probably seen the Batman the anime series, but just just really, really good stuff. But so I went with uh, sort of the green skin on Poison Ivy. Um, so, some versions they'll do that, some they don't. Um, just because I wanted something a little different, and I, I kind of like that that tone, and I like it with the you know, sort of the orangish reddish hair. Um, plus, if I didn't do it, if I just when you're just doing these headshots, there's really it just looks like a regular, it's just a girl. If I'm just going to do the regular skin color, but but anyway. Um, yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for checking this out, and thanks for following me. Thanks for liking and subscribing and all that stuff. Um, let me know again. Let me know who your favorite Batman villain is. Maybe we'll get to one in the next episode. Um, there's so many, um, but but I am curious. So I'm just gonna put a little outline around her, pop her out a little more, and then I'm gonna call this series done. And I've got some ideas for. For, for next time. But thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and uh, that is all.